Miss Eileen. Eileen speaks. Miss Eileen speaks. Hey guys, it's Eileen. And today we're over on my blog that I use for my podcast. And that's the Miss Eileen Speaks podcast at MissEileenSpeaks.com and I wanted to show you how to change the Lipson player on your blog or blog. If you're using Lipson's on publish feature for blogger, it will give you a player that looks like this. Now, I think this might be confusing for some people, especially if they're not really familiar with podcasting and they may just think, what is this black hole that she has at the top of her blog? The other thing that I don't like about this player is that it doesn't show you the title of the episode or anything like that. So I wanted to switch these out. Unfortunately, you have to do it manually because the on publish feature always comes with this player. So let's go over into my lips and account. And the, where you get the player from is under destinations. And here I had, this is where I set up the width and the height of the player. Let's just go into the player here and they show you, these are the different examples of the player you could have. Now I chose the standard because this one, as I mentioned, will show you the name and the title of the episode. The mini one is cute, but it doesn't, doesn't really give you much room to have the name of the episode there. So I'm going to use this one standard. And I decided that I wanted the width to be 475, which fits nicely into a blog post on my blog and 45. In fact, uh, 45 as the height. In fact, I'm going to show you what it looks like when we're all done. So here's a different post where I've already changed the player. I think this looks pretty obvious when anybody comes here, they can see, okay, this is something that I could listen to. I think it looks better than the black one. So now we're back over in our lips and dashboard, click on destinations. And here it'll ask you to select a player. It's going to be the wizard player. And we don't want it to always play the latest episode. We know we're doing this individually. So I just want one episode. In this case, it's the start your blogging journey today episode. And there it gave me the code. Now, let me just copy that code. Go over to my blog post here. And here's the little edit pencil. Now, the easiest way to do this, right now we're on the Compose view. Okay, but we don't want to use the Compose view. We want to use the HTML view. Now, notice that the player is the very top thing at the top of the blog post. So, we'll know when we go over here, that's what we want to look for. And it starts with iframe. So, we're going to take out from iframe to where it says iframe again. That's the closing tag. We're going to get rid of that one and we're going to paste the one that we just copied from Libsyn. Already we see that it is the nice player, the standard player that we want. And I actually like to center this as well. I think that looks a little nicer. I'm going to get rid of that code because that just sends people back over to Lipson. And I don't want to do that. I want to keep that as a subheading. Let me update. Now let's just go and look at the updated post. And there we have it. We no longer have that black hole that may confuse people and in my opinion, this looks more like, okay, that's a play button and I can see what it is that I'm going to play. Welcome. You're listening to the Miss Eileen Speaks Podcast. There you have it. 
That's how you change out your player when you're using Libsyn's on publish feature with Blogger. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and here's what I'd like you to do. While you're over on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. That way you can keep up to date with all the blogging tutorials, social media, and anything that's going on with YouTube or Google and Google Chrome. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon. Once again, it's Eileen from Basic Blog Tips. Bye for now.